Hey, happy Tuesday to you. Welcome to a Tuesday edition of 5 Minutes with Phil. It blesses me to be able to bless you by looking at God's Word together. And uh, I hope that uh, God has already given you a great start to the day. Let's try to kick things off by looking at God's Word. And I want to introduce you to somebody that maybe some of you have never heard of before. A, a name in the Bible that is not really a common name. Uh, if somebody were to say, hey, give me a Bible character that starts with a letter D. Okay, a lot of you would probably say David, right? Killed Goliath. Some of you would say Daniel, Lion's Den. Uh, and those would be great guesses. But if I were to say uh, Diotrephes, mm, I doubt you would know who that is. But that's what I want to introduce you to today. A man by the name of Diotrephes. And he is known for one particularly interesting thing. And that is in 3 John. And there's only one chapter in 3 John. 3 John chapter 9. And let me read that for you. And John is writing and he says, I wrote to the church. But Diotrephes, who loves to be first, will not welcome us. Oh, man. Can you believe this? All right. You go down in history as being known for a person who loves to be first. As being a person who likes it to be all about you. And not about other people. I mean, what? What in the world? And, and we get a few more things about him, that how he was a troublemaker in the church and, 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 and did some things that were not, were not good in the church. But I think it all really comes down to verse 9. He loved to be first. Can I ask you a question today? Uh, do we... Do you and I find ourselves falling into the temptation of wanting, wanting things to be all about us? Or is it all about other people? <laughs> and you know what? In, in, in the church world, in the kingdom of God, I think one way that we can really mess up our testimony is to try to create this air of superiority that because this person is... Uh, this knowledgeable, or he has this position, uh, that that it should be all about him. And I just, uh, I, I've got a hard time with that. I really do. I think, um, I think that God has called us to a life of selflessness instead of selfishness. We should be selfless. And Diotrephes will forever have the stigma associated with him as one who wanted to be first all the time, and he loved it. I don't want that reputation. Um, I I want I want to be I want to be known as a servant. I want to be known as somebody who put other people ahead of me. I, I want to be somebody that does not feel like they are the most important person in the room. I never, ever, ever, ever want that because, you know, I read I read chapters in the Bible like Philippians chapter 2, how Jesus left the comforts and the superiority of heaven to come to earth and, be, and to become a servant and how we should follow his example. I tell you what, I, I take that as literally as I can. I I don't want to be known as somebody who wants to be first, where it's all about me. I, I want to defer to other people. Let people really matter to you, that it doesn't have to be about you. You know what? God will take care of all that. He really will. Whatever promotion or, or um, recognition you need, God will take care of that. You just be faithful and serve. Serve other people. Don't be a diatrophies. We don't need any more of those in the church culture. Be a servant like Jesus was, all right? And I challenge you today, if you're tempted to put yourself first, 
let, let's not let's not fall into that trap. Okay. Thanks for joining me. Pray you have a good Tuesday, and we will talk to you later. Bye bye.